And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Today we're taking a look at Ringmaster. Welcome to the big top here. This is from Ultra Pro slash Stoneblade Games. Uh, now Stoneblade and Ultra Pro and in fact the designer of this game, Justin Gary, are most well known for Ascension. Ascension is a deck building game which has quite a few expansions out. It has progressed into a very large game. I mean the game it's pretty simplistic but so a lot going on especially if you play with many of the expansions. This is a completely different game. It is about uh, a certain Circus and you're trying to play cards in front of you, but it is much simpler. And I don't think I can emphasize that enough. It's a really simple game. In fact, with only 34, even though they're tarot, tarot sized cards in here, it almost qualifies as what we call a micro game because those 34 cards are the entirety of the game. Let me show you. The game is just going to be using a deck of 34 cards. You're going to have these decks. You'll take out a certain number of cards based on how many players in the game. The game can be played with two, three, or four players. So if you're playing with less than that number of players, you'll take out the four here if I'm only playing with threes or two. So a few cards will come out. Then you'll shuffle the cards and deal three out to each player. And on a player's turn, you're simply going to draw the top card of the deck and then you're going to play one card from your hand. So there are different types of cards that can be played. So sideshow cards can be played in front of anyone. You can play it in front of yourself or in front of somebody else. These cards are going to do something. So for example, the bearded lady makes you discard down to one card in your hand. Sideshow, you can play, if you have the juggling clown, you can play as many cards from your hand as you want. And at the end of your turn, you discard your whole hand. Event cards, you play them, and they're just gonna be discarded when you're done, so discard any card in play, or play a card from the discard pile. Attractions are gonna be giving you ideas of how you can win the game. So if I play this in front of myself, and they can only be played in front of yourself, if I have five or more attractions in front of you, you win. Or more specifically here, if I have three three-wing circuses in front of you, I win. Here, this one is just an attraction. So there are some ways to win here. This is how you're going to win the game. And there's multiple of each of these things. There might even be something like this clown car here, which counts as two attractions. So you're trying to do these things. You also have stars. Once you play a star in front of you, it will give you an ability. So like, for example, this one lets me play an extra card each turn. The ringmaster does the same thing, even though he has different artwork. Or here I can discard a star that's in play each turn. Or I can play an attraction from the discard pile. And that's pretty much it. There's a whole pile of other cards in here. You're going to just keep playing till someone wins. You can't have more than six cards in your hand. You'll discard down to six. If the deck runs out, you'll shuffle and keep drawing. There is one card in the deck that you can play on someone else's turn. Basically, it just cancels a card that someone else has played, and they're both discarded. Eventually, someone is going to win, and then the game's over. The game has just a few components. It has a very small rule book with just two pages. It's really easy. And then you can get rid of the box because you can just use this bag here and put all the cards into the bag and carry that around. The cards themselves are nice big cards. It's really easy to see what they do. I tend to really enjoy the artwork, even if that is one creepy clown on there. But it just has some very nice, you know, the artwork works. It is what it is. This game's not pretending to be much bigger, although like I, when you put all the cards in here into that bag, that's a much smaller size than the box itself. There's a very popular game out there called Flux, F-L-U-X-X, -X, from Looney Lab Games. And I think I can successfully say that if you like Flux, you'll probably like Ringmaster. Because Ringmaster is like a slow, more sedate Flux. And I don't even mean those as necessarily as negative qualifiers. It's just that this game, you, there's a couple ways to win. You draw a card, play a card, see the different combinations of cards, maybe play some extra cards, maybe make someone else lose cards, but that's it. It's really weird because I don't know that I dislike Ringmaster, 
but I definitely know that I don't necessarily like it either. It's just kind of there. You don't make any real decisions. You play the good cards in front of you. I mean, the biggest decisions are play a card from a discard pile, and then you're like, hmm, what cards are interesting here? Other than that, I play good cards on myself. I play a few bad cards on someone else. If someone's about to win, I play the card that cancels that winning card. That's pretty much it. I don't know, and it's definitely, I, I thought, well, maybe it's a kid's game, and <clears throat> I did play it with my kids, although here in the box it says 13+. plus. I don't know why it says 13 plus. There ain't no 13 plus anything in here. It's a game that could be with kids, but even they thought, ah, this game seems awfully lucky, to which I said, indeed it is. So, uh, I like uh, Ringmaster. Welcome to the Big Top. It's idea. I like the circus. I like the designers. I like the publisher. I like everything about it. The quality's fine. It's just that I have no interest in playing this again. I feel like I've explored the depths of this game. After, the, you know, like a minute into my first play. And the second play, same as the first. Uh, and the game is not very long here in the box. It says 30 minutes. Oh, no, it says 10 minutes. Sorry, 10 minutes. And that's correct. So there's that. And you can say, well, you can carry it around and play it anywhere. Sure, but the market for that, carry a card game around and play it anywhere, there's a lot of those out there. And I'm not sure this one stands out. So other than the theme, not a lot here I can recommend. Like I said, I think some people will enjoy it. It just feels like maybe you want to play. Maybe there's an activity you want to do while you're talking to people about something completely different. And I get that there's kind of a, a category of gaming in that regard. This fits there. But I think for most people who watch my channel, this will be one that they're not interested in. Dice Tower Judgment? That's okay.